Hi guys, I am Harim. Now I'd like to show you an issue about SQL Server Management Studio. So what I'm doing is I upgraded Windows 8 to Windows 10. So I'm going to use SQL Server Management Studio for first time in my computer. So this is SQL Server Management Studio. I'm just open that and here you go. Now I'm going to do Windows authentication to access my databases and everything so I'm going to connect it right now and this is the first time use so that's why it takes some time okay here it is this is what I expected so here it says when it was connecting to the server so it has some issue and it's identified that is error 26 so let's see how we are going to solve this issue and how I am how we are going to access our databases okay now I'm just okay and I'll just leave this for time being and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run or either I can search something here or now I'm going to run so I'm just pressing the shortcut between Windows key and R so it comes and in here we are going to type services.msc I'm going to attach this keyword from the description so you can easily copy that and paste yours if you have the issue so now I'm going to say ok and it will come up this screen this is the services screen in here now I'm going to search something starts with a SQL kind of thing PR okay here it is SQL so some lots of things are here SQL active directories blah blah and now I need something called SQL Server Express and you know this mention SQL Server and this is SQL Server Agent I don't need this agent thing I need SQL Server so what I'm going to do is I'm just right click it and I'm going to start that. Oh, once you click that, you can see something here, and you can easily click that button. Oh, I'm right click this and I'm going to start this. So it is starting and it started. So it says running. So now I don't need that. So I'm close this screen. Now I'm going to connect again. And here it is, it connected. So it connected well, and I, here I can oh, see my databases. So this is a created. Uh, so in the next time, let's say I close this again. I'm going to start SQL Server Management Studio again, and it comes the same screen, and then connect that, and it's connected very quickly. So that is the issue I have. Any time, if you guys got the error code, error 26. So this is the easiest step you can do that. So that's all for this video, guys. That's it. Thank you. Have a good day.